What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Tokyo Shinobi Squad Chapter 12. So now we're getting into the real um, Ice Electric Showdown and it looks like uh, Jin's about to pull something out of his sleeve. Let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And this chapter is titled The Right Way. Is that plasma? Incredible. Is he going to be all right, Papillion? That technique is only effective in inside closed off spaces and it generates friction and excess heat that puts a tremendous strain on his body. It's a dangerous technique. But now that Jin is um, inside a field of electromagnetic uh, induction, his speed and power are a whole uh, um, are a whole order of magnitude higher. Hi oh my god. I'm wearing so let me read this. Reread this. But now that Jin is inside a field of electromagnetic induction, his speed and power are a whole order of magnitude higher. Uh anyway, whatever, let's go. Keep going here. Ooh, dude, they are so yeah. Um, Papillion wasn't kidding about speed, Jin, about Jin's speed. Oh my God, he's going fast. Oh, and his power, de yeah, his power definitely increased too. Smash Earth. He's amazingly strong. Earnings, holy shit. He's amazingly strong and can move at the speed of sound, but he'll burn himself out in a matter of minutes. In that case, Ice Wall Technique Corpse Flower. I'll make this a battle of endurance. That wall can withstand even an anti-tank rocket. Now that's just cruel. That kid can't do anything but bleed out and die. If this becomes a battle of attrition, that kid is finished. Womp. A cruel strategy, but a smart one. God damn it. The art for this fight has been really, really gorgeous, and I really love the visual explanation. It is beautiful. Crack, 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 crack. Ooh, sheet. Ooh, ha, ah, you finally retreated into your shelter. I don't need that arm anyway. Um, he reached me? He was waiting for me to do this? Oh, you fell into his trap. Ooh, ah, oh, shit. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Went him down, headbutt. Oh, my God. But this time, went down, electric headbutt. Ha, ah. ha. No one's going to follow a man who makes a living um, out of hurting others or who isn't willing to sacrifice himself when it counts. And if you don't understand that, then you don't have what it takes to lead a squad. Yes, yes, yes. This line right here. I want to read this again because this line, um, or I should say this quote from Jin makes me really happy because it's not straight up knock him a power. This is fucking awesome. I'm going to read this quote again. Because this, oh god, this quote makes me so fucking happy. Oh god. Thank you, Yuki, for doing this shit. Alright, I'm gonna read this quote one more time because we need more of this in manga. No one's going to follow a man who makes a living out of hurting others or who isn't willing to sacrifice himself when it counts. And if you don't understand that, then you don't have what it takes to lead a squad. It ain't about the Nakama power. Nah. Naru. Uh, sorry, wearing slow shit. Narumi, a headbutt. See, when in doubt, headbutt. Why, when are people going to recognize this as a manga slash anime trope? It's definitely a fucking manga trope. I don't know if in, in anime originals if we're seeing a lot of uh, headbutts because I haven't been watching a lot of anime originals. But holy fucking shit, in manga, like, headbutt is just a fucking trope at this point. When he said he was going to use his head, I didn't think he meant it so literally. Seriously, talk about using your head. Uh, Mizutani, Jin's hurt pretty bad. Uh, I... S I see that. We need to get out of here. You're not going anywhere. No one is. The boss covered the entire building in his ice, and no one here is strong enough to break through. It won't be ten minutes before the cold fills our lungs with blood and we go uh, to meet our maker. Jin Narumi, if you were in perfect condition, maybe you could have broken us out of here, but I don't think you've got much fight left in you. Don't be ridiculous. Surely you can break the ice. Raw strength isn't really my thing. We're all trapped in here. If you're a real shinobi, then you should be ready to accept death. Mizutani, it's minus 30 uh, um, degrees Celsius and still dropping. There's nothing left for us to do. <sighs> what? What's that sound? Hmm? Something's coming. Jin, do you hear that? Yeah. Jin! Yeah! The cavalry arrived. Uh, we're here to rescue you. And it was great. Yeah! Tiger, the tiger is here. We're feeling great. Um, how did you find us? Uh, Sina told us. I'll explain later. First, we need to get you out of here. And why a tuk tuk? Why a why a tuk? Seriously, why a tuk tuk of all things? You two, come with us. Jin, get in. Yeah, my arm's pretty bad. 
maybe th what that kid said was right. Now that you've been beaten, I don't sense anything of worth in you at all. Ooh. This ain't about Nakama power. Again, this ain't about, like, about Nakama power. It, it, it's not about that shit at all. Um, I, I, I'm going to go back to what he said. To what uh, Jim said. Who, no one's going to follow a man who makes a living out of hurting others or, or who isn't willing to sacrifice himself when it counts. Yeah, so... Yeah, if you're that coward that's um, not going to uh, sacrifice himself when it counts... You ain't gonna be a leader. And that motherfucker ain't sacrificing when it counts. Or oh, what was the other? Shit. Well, no one's going to make a... No one's going to follow a man who uh, makes a living um, uh, out, of, uh, out of hurting others. Well, okay. Here's where I gotta disagree here. People do... The, yeah, people will do that. But, oh, God, Jin. The more I think about it, like, the more that the first, at least, um, the first part of the quote is kind of wrong. But that's, it's the second part. The, or who isn't willing to sacrifice himself when it counts. That's what really got me. And if you don't understand that, then you don't have what it takes to lead a squad. I fucking love it. All right. I was a stray sheep, life, um, life not going how I wanted. I uh, had no life for the life I li um, had no love for the life I lived. But you showed me the right way. Maki hasn't come out yet, um, yet, right? Which one is your type, Taiga? I like women who are taller than me, like that one in blue. Oh yeah! Don't they ever shut up? There she is. That's Maki. She's beautiful. Listen, Maki, there are those who, uh, who will be jealous of the way you're shaking things up, but never forget to be true to your own style. No matter what barriers you face, never give up on living your, uh, living your life. I won't. Maki, yes? I'm proud of you. Ooh, that outfit is looking nice. Maki is looking nice. Aww. I have, um, I have a report for you, Deputy Representative. Uh, this is at Shinobi Union Headquarters. Uh, Jin Narumi, um... Jin Narumi's Narumi Kai's defeated Seigen. Remind me when is the remind me when is the training session scheduled? In fourteen days. He's a troublemaker, dude. This is good. Okay, that that shit that's in fourteen days. The um the training session is going to be very interesting. But I really like how this fight ended. I really like that it wasn't about like um protecting your um it, yeah you kind of had the protecting your squad kind of shit but it wasn't like straight up knock a power that we've like if you hurt my friends you're gonna die kind of shit that we've seen so many times and i really really like that in the writing um also i love that it was the electric headbutt that was fucking cool and i love the, and yes the fourth wall has been broken and maki looked fucking fierce and i like the message too um that's near the end of this chapter um, I, I want to read it again because I really like this message here uh, from this quote. Those, uh, there are those who will be jealous of the way you're shaking things up, but never forget to be true to your own style. No matter what barriers you face, never give up on living your life. I love that. I love that message. It's amazing. And it's not, and the best thing about it, and the same thing with Jin's um, uh, quote from earlier in the chapter, it's not cheesy as fuck. That's what's nice about it. It's... Uh, good message and it's well somewhat good message in Jin's case but uh, <laughs> um and it, it's not cheesy as fuck so very curious what you guys think um I'm I really really hope this manga doesn't get cut because right now um you it looks like Yui Kamio is staying I'm oh god I really it's gonna be really really hard to see what Shueisa is gonna do because uh, in regards to which manga is going to stay in Shonen Jump. Because I really, really, really like Beast Children a lot. And um, Samurai 8. Samurai 8's okay. It's getting there. But it's it, it's starting to it's starting to get interesting. And then Double Taisei. Like, I like Double Taisei a lot. I really do. But it's a, it's a niche. And it's not... To me, Double Taisei isn't living up to March Comes In Like a Lion. Um, which is like the best shogi manga ever. <laughs> it really is. 
it needs it doesn't have enough extra oomph even though i do like it it just doesn't have the extra oomph um and in regards to tokyo shinobi squad like it's just not fair because all the manga that i've liked so far this year have gotten axed like hellborn naguma got axed which was bullshit if you ask me and fucking um lasuyuki got axed and i just got a feel i just got a really bad feeling that tokyo shinobi squad could get axed Unless you you become you, let's lose gets uh, also gets axed. Um, I got a bad feeling that Tokyo Shinobi Squad is gonna end soon, or is is gonna end like around the chapter twenty three mark. I just have this bad feeling. Um, and the reason why is that Tokyo Shinobi Squad is freaking. I love what we we're getting in Tokyo Shinobi Squad, but the problem is with this manga is that we have as awesome as these chapters or well it's been hit or miss but like we don't have a direction we don't have like a set direction yet i mean we had like a, like i thought we had a good direction at the beginning like similar to what we have with dr stone um we had a good direction and all that and we knew where we we're going but like i i feel like tokyo shinobi squad doesn't know where it's going right now i really really don't and I'm hoping in the next few chapters it's going to be able to prove itself like uh, like Dr. Stone was able to. Um, I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help um, keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Tokyo Shinobi Squad content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the um, description box below. Also, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!